Greetings, critical viewers. We're back with more of The Wolf Among Us. It's been a couple months since episode one, but episode two just came out today. So we're gonna play it right now. Mr. Toad? Do something, Bigby, before he completely tears up the place. Whoa, 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 hey, hey! You got something on your face. Fuck are you talking about, you stupid cunt? You're not as bad as everyone says you are. Please, Bigby. Promise me you won't tell Beast you saw me. Look, whatever it is, it's between you and Beast. I'm staying out of it. It's not what you might be thinking. Have you seen my wife? Have you seen Beauty? Come with me. Don't interrupt me, Miss Snow. You asked me a question. Don't change the subject. You are to blame for this unpleasantness, Miss Snow. No, I'm D. He's dumb. But he said if one of us ever got back to me, if he ever thought you knew, Miss White, come back and kill one. I'm looking for the woodsman. Well, he's not here. Holly, you're out of paper towels and the... they're gonna string me up, baby. You said it looks fucking bad. It looks really bad, but I didn't do it. All right, I got a hundred bucks for the first bloke that can tell me something about a girl named. Fuck, man! This fucking laughter will be Come sniffing around this part of town. Fucks in the world is the shit. Yeah, right, Big B. Now things are worse off than they've ever been. Well, that's not true. Right. We've had it worse, but not by much. Aw oh, man. Great synopsis of the last episode. So at the end of the last one, we found Snow White's head, I'm assuming on the doorstep. Well, shit, look at this. Mr. Wolf. What? Making this more difficult than it has to be. If you just cooperate and answer the questions, you can go home. Maybe get some sleep. How are you feeling? I know it's been a long night for you. You look like you could use some rest. I need to find the killer. I'll be better when I find who did this, which I can't do while sitting in here. We all want the same thing here, Bigby. Look, I know what you must be going through. Really, I do. But I could use your cooperation. I don't think you do. You know, I hate to say it, but I don't think you do. Of course. You're... you're right. I can't imagine what you're going through right now. Uh, you switched your story real fast, didn't you? I don't like this. What is it with you cops? Always trying to empathize with people. I know this must be hard for you. Do you? Do you fucking know? Have you had a friend killed and their head left at your fucking doorstep? No. Alright, Big B. I think so. Your nose is bleeding. What? Are you okay? Are you okay? You don't look so good. Detective Brannigan? I'm Detective Brannigan. Uh, yeah. I know. I just said that. Is there something? What's happening? Please. Please. Uh, 
I'm sorry. Just make it stop, please. Whoa, this is some... This is some freaky shit. What's happening to all of them? Is someone busting me out? We have to go, now. What? Is it, what? What did you do? What did you do to her? She'll be fine. It's just a memory wipe spell. Very expensive. But it works. The whole station will forget the last 24 hours. And everything they saw at the woodlands. Well, hurry up. Whoa! That seems like it could have dramatic repercussions. They've forgotten everything they've seen the past 24 hours. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, might want to take that. Doesn't do any good if they forget everything if they see a picture lying around like that. Ichabod Crane's not too bright, if you ask me. Not a fan. He seems especially calm right now. Well, I mean, the crook's probably the headless horseman, his arch nemesis, right? <clears throat> or maybe it's him. Who knows? He could be trying to frame the headless horseman. This doesn't change anything. This doesn't change anything. Fine. Good. I don't like you. We, um... We found Tweedledee chained up to a post. That was your doing, correct? Yeah. Well, I don't know why you detained him. Dee was at the trip trap when Snow was left in the woodlands, so he couldn't possibly be involved in this mayhem. He Who has a brother. Interrogating him. There's two of them, Dee and Dunn, and they've been snooping around every crime scene I've looked at. That doesn't mean they're necessarily involved in the murders. Hmm, I can't remember why I detained D. Oh yeah, it was just to get some information out of him. Because he obviously knows more than me about it. The woodsman seems pretty clueless, if you ask me. I know what you're thinking, Big B. It's been one full night and a slice of morning, and I already miss her too. Really? You have emotions. Interesting. Yeah, never get more homesick than when one of us dies. Now, for it to be snow, I've never been good with these sorts of things. It you don't really care. Happening. It's hard. Yeah. It's hard. Our stories used to be so simple. We had a beginning, a middle, and an end. But ever since we moved to this awful city, everything's gotten so confused. Hmm. What is your ulterior motive? Did she, uh, give any indication to what she was thinking? When you saw her last, I mean. I don't know why, but I'd like to know that she was... I guess fine, I suppose. She just told me to be careful. She was always fond of you. Big B. Yeah. Well, all right. I don't know what else to say, Big B. We have to have to put an end to this. I agree. It's been two murders in as many days. If we don't unearth our culprit, and soon there will likely be another on our doorstep tonight. I'll hmm. get it done. Please, Big B, for Miss White. I got it. Can't help but feel like he's. Hmm. I still don't trust him. I can't help but feel like this is part of some grand scheme of his. That's not a very good answer, is it? Come on, just tell me what I want to know. That's it Bluebeard. It's a lot less painful for you. Indeed. Oh. Oh, were you planning on using that? I just thought you really liked rubbing your little sword. <laughs> what the hell do you think you're doing? Hello, Ichabod. Sheriff. Bluebeard. I was just chatting with our new friend. You were supposed to wait for us to get back. I told you, if you want to be involved, you will do things my way. No violence! Whatever you say, Ichabod. That's the guy who voices Lee. Hello, Big B. 
I want the Walking Dead. D. Oh, goody. I thought you wanted questions, and I was having so much trouble thinking of any good ones. You're very Though clever. Thank you for that. How's your head? You see what I've been dealing with? What are you going to do about this, Bigby? Do you think this is a joke? Snow White is dead. Look, I didn't kill anyone. And I'm supposed to just believe you. You were with me when it happened, dummy. I I believe you didn't kill anybody. I still have questions for you, D. Sounds like a personal problem. This is Who's your boss? Let him work. He's got more experience with these kinds of things. Why, Why were you at you Toad's? Toad's place? Looking for a change of scenery. Thought I might move in. Had to take a look around first, of course. Make sure everything's up to code and whatnot. Looked all right. I'm not fucking around here, D. All right. Come on. D. Let's get to know each other. Man, come on. What is it now, Big B? Frickin', come on, cooperate. Look, I know it's unpleasant. You don't want to be here, right? I'm not trying to make things difficult for you. I just need you to cooperate. Once you've answered my questions, I'll let you go. It would help if I wasn't strapped to a chair. Oh, so you could just run away? Fair enough. The door's Please open! What you were doing at Toad's place. Look, Big P, we're not on opposite sides here. My brother and I are trying to get to the bottom of things. Same as you. Oh, good. I got him talking. Well, can you tell me what you know, then? Where was he last night? I can't yeah. say. He could have been anywhere. Take your best guess. He didn't do it, if that's what you're thinking. Then where is he? No, I'm not sending you after my brother. We're not gonna... I answered your question. Can I get my stuff back now? What did you find on him? Oh, uh, nothing of consequence, really. You think I'm just gonna ask you one question? Give me a freaking break. D's Come cash. On, we both know this isn't going anywhere. D's whiskey. What's this? Where'd you get that? You always carry this much cash. I've got Somebody a lot paid of laundry him. to do this week. What's it to you? Hmm. I'm gonna put it down. I won't pocket it. That's not right. So where's your brother? Look, mate, I'd like to help. I would, but I can't tell you where he is. Last time I saw him, we split up, and I went to find Faith. <gasps> I don't know where he is now. What, what was that about Faith? Anybody. You mentioned Faith? Look, I went to her apartment. That's no secret. You saw me. No, there's more to it. You said you were trying to find something. That's right, Lee. All right, D. What did you want from Faith? Sorry, I can't help you. I'm not saying any more about it. Oh, come on! You gotta be kidding me! He's being too nice to him. It's a smart strategy. Be patient. Show him the head! Show him the head! Show the photo to D. Fuck, Big B. Don't make me look at that. Just put that away. Please. You can help us. This is why we're here. Someone killed this woman, and we need to know who. I get it, I do, but I can't tell you what I don't know. Well, who's your boss? I'm gonna ask him that next. Come on, Dee, what did you want from Faith? Sweet girl like her. Sweet? You think that girl was sweet? She was a fucking thief. Fucking sweet. Faith was plenty of things, but that ain't one of them. I mean, you know what she did for a living, right? She stole from you? Not from me. She stole from my boss. Hell, <laughs> I think worth taking. Your boss? Yeah, who's your boss? Let's talk about your boss, then. I like this is going trouble, somewhere. Big B. I can't answer any more of your questions. What, what do you mean? Don't hit him. We, we've come this, this far. This is getting old very quickly. Hmm. Look at this. Maybe we can figure this out. Don't smoke his cigar. I'm saving that. Here. Here. 
Yeah, all right. Want to see a trick? <clears throat> what a great trick. Why? Well, I, I didn't want you to light it. Why don't you just tell me who you're working for? Look, you're not a bad guy, despite what beauty says about you. It what? Looks what? Like you're a total <laughs> bastard, anyway. But I just can't give you that information. There's no way beauty would associate with a scumbag like you. What's wrong with me? You're telling me I ain't pretty enough? I'm yeah, talking. we're real close. Hmm. This was supposed to be a murder investigation, but you're treating this guy like a fucking house guest, Bluebeard. And not getting any answers from him this way. Snow White is dead. One of us. And you're going to let this ignorant shit walk out of here in one piece. Out of my way. I'll show you how it's done. <laughs> What the fuck? What do you Come think you're on. doing? Teaching him a lesson. Now pay attention. You you haven't been getting any answers out of him right either. Now, you enjoying yourself immensely. Uh, okay, come on. This is stop it. Ugh. I don't want to like choke him or anything. But <laughs> Who is that? What? What? What just happened? Snow. What? What? <laughs> Whose head was that? <laughs> 